now we are going to discuss about the electrical conductivity of ionic compound. Ionic compound, I'm taking an example of NaCl in which you see that Na positive, Cl negative are arranged in a regular pattern and uh, they cannot move. Uh, they are the positive negative ions, uh, they, are have, they are the charged particles but they cannot move. For the electrical conductivity, there must be two points which must be fulfilled. Number one, there must be the presence of charged particle and number two they must be free to move if these two points are fulfilled electrical conductivity is possible the material can conduct electricity if any one point out of these two points is not fulfilled electricity cannot be passed through it and it cannot conduct electricity the ionic compound in the at the ionic compound at room temperature are in the solid state and in the solid state they are the positive and negative ions but they cannot move when they cannot move they cannot conduct electricity if we have a battery with us and there is a positive side of the battery and the negative side of the battery and there is a positive plate and negative plate we operate the battery but electricity and electrical conductivity is not possible because the ions cannot move so Ionic compound in the solid state cannot conduct electricity because these ions have charge on them but they cannot move from their place. They are not free to move so they cannot conduct electricity. But in the molten state when we melt an ionic compound the positive negative ions the positive negative ions are away from one another and in the molten form the, uh, the positive negative ions can move from their place they can move from one point to another point so if the battery is operated and there is a positive part of the plate and the negative part of the plate of course these negative chloride ions will move towards the positive plate and the positive sodium ions will move towards the negative plate and because of the movement of these positive and negative ions of the ionic compound electricity can be conducted so electricity can be conducted if there are ions and there are ions and if they can move so in the molten state they can move so electricity can be possible similarly uh, when we dissolve ionic compound in water so in the aqueous form uh, the ions are free and they can free to move so I mean to say that these the sodium ion in water in the aqueous form can move and the sodium ion will move towards the negative part of the plate and similarly when chloride ions will be taken away by these hydrogen ions because hydrogens have positive charge on them and chloride is negative so these hydrogen can take away this chloride and can make it apart from the crystal can make it to go away from the crystal so this hydrogen positive can take away this chloride ion and this will also in water is relatively free it can move in water can move in the aqueous medium and in this way uh, the chloride ion in water can move towards the positive plate and the sodium ion can move in water in the negative plate and because these ions can move in the aqueous form in the water and they can conduct electricity. So uh, ionic compound in the solid state cannot conduct electricity. Uh, they are the positive negative ions in the solid state but they are not free to move but in the molten form and in the aqueous form they can move these positive negative ions can move so they can conduct electricity.